Well, it looks like I'm out running the storm, at least for now. Uh, I'm on Interstate 40 heading east. I left Flagstaff about 20 minutes ago and it was snowing so bad you couldn't see a quarter of a mile. And now I'm heading into blue skies. So, yeah, I'm out running it at least for now until I stop. And uh, it is 4.30, so yeah, I won't be driving too awful long and I'll be looking for a place to spend the night. Well, the rain stopped and I've seen just a little bit of snowflakes here and there, but the clouds sure have blown in. You, the visibility's dropped to maybe a mile. Looks like it's gonna get worse. So it's blue over here still, but not here and not off over there to the right. So I'm definitely driving into the thick of it. Well guys, I'm driving through beautiful New Mexico. Um, I plan on going to Valles Caldera and maybe White Sands, New Mexico, but there's no sense in going to search for obsidian at Valles Caldera in snow. You're not going to find it anyway. And the same with White Sands, New Mexico. There's no reason to go there because you're not going to see the white sand under the white snow. So I'm kind of playing my options. I've still got, a, I don't know, 150 miles to Albuquerque, which would be where I would turn off to either Valles Caldera or White Sands. Welcome to New Mexico. Here we go, welcome to New Mexico. Into New Mexico now, leaving Arizona. Um, there's no reason to go to either one if there's snow there. I mean, like I said, I've got 150 miles for the things to change. I don't know if it snowed in the middle of New Mexico, but I'm sure if it snowed over here, it snowed 150 miles east. So I'm just kind of weighing my options. If I don't go to either one of those, what do I do? Do I just go home? Um, do I go somewhere I've never been? I don't know. So it's only Monday. I don't have to be back to work till Sunday night. Just playing my options and just gonna drive for a little while and see what happens. See if the uh, situations change as far as the snow goes or, or what. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, I just had to exit the freeway. Uh, apparently there's an accident up ahead. And it doesn't surprise me because about five miles back, I went across a bridge where some car had spun out and hit the bridge and took the whole front of their car off. And trust me, I was sliding on the bridge and very shocked at how icy it was and what to do about it. Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is where I would turn and go north to Valles Caldera. But since I already got some obsidian at Andy's place in northwest Nevada, I changed my mind. I'm not going to try to go north because I just checked the radar. There's storms coming in out of the north. Snow, rain, they're saying three to four inches of snow and I would be driving right into it. So I've changed my mind. I'm not gonna mess around in New Mexico. I pulled over in the rest area. I passed up Albuquerque, New Mexico, just because the fact that there's a storm coming and if I had turned north to go to Valles Caldera, I would have been driving into the storm. I'm supposed to get another three, four inches of snow even though there's no snow here right now. I've already got some obsidian that I got from Andy's place in Northwest Nevada. So I said, heck with it. I'm gonna keep on going and see where I, 
where I end up. All right, guys. Um, still in New Mexico. I'll be into uh, Texas here pretty soon. And I've just kind of been mulling it over, and I think I'm just gonna go home. I think I've done enough for this year's vacation. It's been a lot of fun. I've seen a lot of things. But even if I head home now, I'm probably not gonna make it home till Wednesday, maybe Tuesday night. Because I'm sure it's still a good thousand miles. So yeah, I figure I'm just gonna head home and then that'll give me time to unpack and go through and edit video, edit footage, and maybe get a chance to, you know, spend the night out camping or something before I have to go back to work this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the trip, hope you liked the videos, and uh, I look forward to vacation next year. There we go, now leaving New Mexico, which means I am entering Texas, Texas state line. There should be a, a sign up here saying welcome to Texas, yeah there it is. cool to go up into one of those because I know they've got ladders where you go up inside and they go up to top to the top where the uh, generator is be cool as ever to go in one of those if I ever had the chance I'd take it in a heartbeat but yeah just some reason I find those giant wind farms just incredible I'd love to be able to go up in one of them someday Texas is the cheapest I've seen gas, $1.79, that's pretty cheap. Unfortunately, I just filled up for like $1.99 about 20 miles back. 